Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you drugstore makeup products that I'm bringing with me from 2019 and 2020. These are things that I was repurchasing in 2019, um, even before that, some of this stuff. Um, but it's things that I will repurchase again and again in 2020. Um, everything that I'm going to show you today is from the drugstore. I do use a lot of drugstore makeup because I wear makeup about six, sometimes even seven, but usually like five, six days a week. Um, so I don't want to be spending so much on something that I'm using so often and having to replace over and over again. So I wanted to show you some affordable um, options from the drugstore. Um, everything that I'm going to show you today is under $10 except two things, which I have a I can justify why these two things aren't under $10. And we'll see that a little bit later. I'll have the links to everything down in the description box. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, the first thing I have to show you is this Wet n Wild Photo, Photo Focus Foundation and the shade Buff Bisque. Um, I love this. This is something that I kept repurchasing. I have different, I have three different shades in this. This is kind of like my middle of the road shade where I have like a tan, but I don't have a like blinding bronze, super summer tan. I have a darker shade of this and I have a lighter shade of this and wherever I'm, I'm at in between I can mix you know to make me lighter or to make me darker. Over the past year I tried um, out Milani's conceal foundation and conceal like two-in-one type deal which I liked that okay but I'm very 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 oily so it just made me even more oily I found even with the setting spray. So this is something that I keep going back to. If you're dry, this may not be the best thing for you, but if you're oily like me or have combination skin, this is probably gonna work really well for you. You can build this up, this, um, what do I wanna say? Medium coverage, there we go. Medium coverage foundation, you can build this up. It's 468 at Walmart, you can't, you can't beat this for $5. You get a lot of product. Moving on, we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, Powder, Pressed Powder and the shade Natural Beige. Um, I This is very well loved. You guys are gonna see a lot of things that I'm, I've hit pan on and really need to replace today. Um, so I'm gonna be really careful with this because I actually had an accident with it this morning when I was getting ready that I dropped it. But like, okay, this is like all the way, sorry. This is like all the way just like, needs replaced, bad. Like we have a little bit left, but it really needs replaced. You get a mirror with this. Um, you get a mirror with this, you get a good amount of powder. I've had this powder for probably the better half of the year, I would say. Like, I think I bought this in the summer, so I've had this for like at least six months. I do need to replace it now, but it has lasted me. Um, and this is one of the more, one of the more expensive items, but it's still not too bad. It's $9.97 at Walmart. Oh, this is my favorite powder that I'm going to bring into 2020 with me. All right, moving right along, the next thing I have is this setting powder from Essence. It's all about matte, it's the waterproof one. Uh, fixing compact powder, which I just recently discovered this. Um, I don't know, I just recently discovered Essence Cosmetics maybe about like four or five months ago. I don't know if I've been sleeping under a rock or what is going on with me, but I mean, I've tried a few things from Essence somewhere. Most are a hit, a couple have been a miss, but this I love. I really love that you can, you could take this with you. It's not a loose powder um, and it still gives you that setting like under your eye, wherever you need to set, you know, wherever you need to set yourself at. Um, I really do love this. Um, and it's, I bought the waterproof one. I think the waterproof is like 20 cents more than the, um, like non-waterproof, I don't know what we wanna call it. Uh, but I bought the waterproof because I work, um, I clean houses for a living, so I like, you know, it's physical, I sweat a lot, so we want, I don't really sweat that much, but I mean, I guess if I did, like I would want it to be waterproof, you know? I don't know, so. This is going into 2020 with me. I just recently discovered it, actually. I think I bought this in the month of December, and I'm really liking this, so. There's that, and this costs, Four nine four forty nine four forty nine at CVS. Um, CVS has Essence products and so does Ulta. That's really the only two places that I've seen that have it. Um, I don't have too much to say about it. It's just setting powder. You set yourself with it. You know, set it and forget it, girl. The next thing that I'm going to move on to is eye primer, and 
after I just said that's kind of the only the foundation is kind of the only thing I like in the photo focus line I forgot about this this is the photo focus what is this called photo focus eyeshadow primer by wet n wild um, I have no problem with this like again there's not much to say about this you know you prime your eyes with it and my eyeshadow never budges never like I never have a problem with this um, it's for it is super affordable you get a lot of product for the price of four dollars and 48 cents you can get this at Walmart I'm holding everything backwards and I don't know why I'm doing that but I just I, I do love this like you, you it does everything you need to do so we're gonna move right on we are going to move on to brows. This is another thing that's very, very loved. Um, I probably replaced this a good six or seven times in 2019. This is the color icon. The label is sharpened off, so I'm going to have to read off my little cheat sheet over here. This is the color icon eyebrow pencil in the shade Blonde Moments, and this is $2.99 at CVS. And um, it gives they give you a spoolie. I would say the, this is about this long when you get it. It's a good size pencil, especially for $2.99. I love, I absolutely love this. I find a lot of drugstore brow pencils, whether it be um, blonde or brown, they pull more on the ready, the ready, the ready, the reddish side. So this is not, this does not have too much red to it. Um, and on days when my hair is toned, because I really need a root touch up in a tone right now, but we're getting a little too personal. I strive to be an ashier blonde but like I get I get a little brassy sometimes guys bear with me um so I don't want anything that has too much red in it because I want it to match my hair um again we need to repurchase this little baby soon I have another one that's even like worse off than this I couldn't even sharpen it this morning so there's that we're gonna put this to the side great um kind of want to see if you guys can see my eyebrows it's what I have on today I also have pretty much everything that I've showed you so far on today. I'm wearing what I want to show you guys. This has literally been, since I started doing my makeup, like, I don't know, when I was, I don't know, how old was I when I started doing my makeup? Like 10, 11 years old. Um, this has been something that I have had in my collection and I still love it to this day. This is the Wet n Wild Trio Walking on Eggshells, which if you guys know, have went to purchase this lately, you know it's a quad now. Um, you get your eyelid shade, your crease shade, and your brow bone shade, and now they have another shade in there, which I haven't bought the quad yet, and I'm going to tell you why. <coughs> My boyfriend's shoe just fell over, and now my parents are freaking out. Okay, Babbitt, it's okay, honey. Babbitt, Babbitt, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, okay. You want, you, she's like so confused on what's going on right now because I'm talking to myself. This is the baby. This is my little York York. Okay, baby. Can you go lay back down in your bed for now while mommy finishes filming? Alright. We'll do a video about my dogs later. Today we're doing makeup. Okay. Go on, baby. My other dog is over here like, what is going on? Go lay down, honey. Go lay down. Go lay down. Sorry. Alright, so. I don't remember where I was, so I'm just gonna go back to what I was talking about. Um. It come, the new packaging is a quad. This is a trio. I've been able to find this at the Dollar Tree for $1, obviously. I mean, obviously. Um, and you get three shades in here. You get this eye, which is, this is what I have on my eyelid today. This is what I wear on my eyelid, I would say about 75% of the time. Um, and then you get a crease shade. This isn't really a standalone on itself crease shade. I put this in my crease first and then I go back with um, something we're going to talk about a little bit later to deepen it up. And then this brow bone shade. I don't use the brow bone shade too much. It's a nice highlighter, but it's more, I want to be glowing. I really want to like, I want outer space to see my highlighter on my brow bone. Like I said, it comes with another shade now if you buy it in the drugstore. And at the drugstore it is, what is it? At the drugstore, it is $2.93, but I've been getting this at the Dollar Tree for $1, so go check at your local Dollar Tree if you can find this. Now we're moving on to one of my like absolute favorite things. I found this a couple of years ago. Um, my boyfriend actually bought it for me for Christmas. This is one of the more pricier things. This is over $10. This is the NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. I had a hard time finding this at the drugstore, but they do have it at Target. It is $15.99, so I'm gonna justify this real quick. $16, you divide this down, you're paying $2 per. Um, you can do eyeshadow looks with this. You can use it, like these are great to use as eyeshadow. Um, this is what I have 
over top of that wet and wild um, crease to deepen it up. There we go. You can just see like how I, I just love this. This is so amazing. I've had this for two years, over two years now, and I have not hit pan on any of these shades. So, I mean, it's really, it's a great investment. So we're gonna move on to another Essence product that I just found in the month of December that I'm loving, loving so much. This little glow to go quad right here. Um, it has four, obviously I said it's a quad. It has four highlighting um, powders in it. Um, these first two right here, this one, this first one right here is like more of a light, you know, no tan. I have no tan on right now, but I want you to see me shining. Um, there's also a peachy one here, a really, really bronzy one, which is going to be really, really beautiful. I just want to swatch this real quick really really just really beautiful in the summer when I have that tan that I'm missing so much the one that I have on today is this last one right here it's a little bronzy but it, I would say it's way more it's way more toned down than this one I have that on today if you guys can see and this is $5.99 at CVS next item is what I have going on with my lashes right now I have been searching for this my whole life uh, this is the, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Waterproof Mascara from Maybelline. It is $9.49 at CVS. That's a little more pricey than I thought it was. All right, so that was all the like makeup things that I, makeup, makeup things, makeup products that I was going to show you. I do have like an honorable mention for you guys, um, which is these Real Techniques makeup brushes that I bought in the month of December need washed I just did my makeup with them but you guys get the point um you get these four brushes and you get one of the um real techniques blending sponges uh in the pack too and this is one of the things the other thing that was over ten dollars this is $19.99 but mind you you get four of these brushes and you get a blending sponge the blending sponge on its own is I think usually you get a blending sponge for around seven six seven dollars from uh, the Real Techniques line. So to get all these together for $20, that's like $4, four-ish dollars a brush. So, I mean, it's just great. Um, this is the Real Techniques 400, and I've been using this for my powder. It's a blush brush, but I've been using it for my all-over powder. Um, this, I'm gonna take this one away. I don't use this one. I feel like I could use it for something. I feel like this would be good for highlight, I guess, but I have not been using it. I have another highlight brush that I like not that I like better because I really haven't tried this all that much yet. I did try it for my crease because it's technically a crease brush. It is just way too large to fit in your crease. It's just, I just don't, I feel like this could have been a nice brush if they just made it smaller and more tapered. And then this Real Techniques 402. I've been using this to set my under eye. And then this one is, I think this was to blend out supposedly to blend out your cream foundation your to blend creams you know but I've been using this for my powder contour I just feel like this is the perfect size to really get in there you know to really get in there you know all that I just really feel like this is great it's got it's got like a sturdiness to it it's not like real fluffy you know you're not just like blending all over the place you can really get in there and just really um you know contour with this and I really love this all right so that is all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe come back we'd love to have you um thanks guys I'll see you next time bye